Welcome back to Kung Fu Maintenance, where I show you how to make the most likely repairs you'll need to make in your lifetime. If you'd like to get the latest videos, subscribe and then hit the little bell icon right at the subscribe button, and it'll notify you of any new videos when they're released for you. All right, so up on the roof, early morning. Got the AC fan motor. Did not make it through the season, uh, but I'd rather change this now than. And later, this one the fan motor quit working yesterday. Yeah, and those are the brakes, but I got a new fan motor, got new bolts, I got uh, washers for this lid here. Um, might try to recover a few fan blades from other units. I pulled the disconnect last night. Plug it in and see if maybe the heat sensor went down, but it's still, I'm gonna need to replace it either way, so. It doesn't matter. I'm just curious whether it went out on a thermal or just more for my own curiosity's sake. Here goes. Yeah. So it looks like this one bouncing around. The fan motor just quit. So it's going to happen again. It may have a bad bearing or whatnot. Um, so that's the deal on this one. But anyway, I'm go ahead and pull it. Get it going. Got my bag, got my gear, ready to roll. Yeah. It's time to change this puppy out. Let me get after this. Uh, so and discharge the capacitor. The capacitor holds the charge in it even after the power is disconnected. So oh, what a nice view. Next day. All right. Beautiful Palm Springs. This time of year is so different. Really pay for it for three months for the, the summer is brutal. Anyway, a discharge capacitor. Capacitor holds the charge in it even after the power is disconnected. Here's our fan lead. Fan leads here. Fan motor that shouldn't be too bad. What a difference between when it's 120 degrees versus a day like today. I put this fan motor on the lid to keep it from bouncing around. Um, before I get too far, I've got some gloves here. I've got the uh, new motor does not come with new bolts for it. So what I did is put the bolts and some fender washers in a glove here. So I got all five four bolts. I put five in there, so I have an extra one just in case. Um, but I wanted to go ahead and use these gloves. It'll make cleanup a lot easier later. So. so I'll pull off this old fan motor. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yeah, just pulling out all the screws all the way around. I've seen this off so many times I might switch to editing a bit now and cut to the chase. So you've seen this set so many lids. Looks like my makeshift model is held up well. <laughs> so, problem there. Okay, in my metal locks and brought a couple extra pieces of sandpaper and such. Here 
use my chain locks. Um, it's probably going to be easier to take the fan blades off. Wow, see how, how rusted the deal is. And I should have brought some spray. I just have water. Um, oh well. Should work. But some spray lube would have been would be nice. Here's our. is set all the way down. It doesn't give much room. Get under there. So. It's gonna take a quite a bit of luck. Hopefully we're good. There we go. Loosen those up. So I'm going to avoid using a blade. Okay. Hopefully this goes good today. We're about to find out. Just no room under this one. Push it forward a little, don't want to go too much. I can chop off the end of this. Gonna add some water. I'll go ahead and lay that off first. Here's hoping.
some of the way. Okay, now I can get behind it. That's much better, preferable. Go grab my special dude. That'll probably make it a little bit easier. All right. This I'll probably take off to pick up some other ones. So I'll probably take those off as well. See if I can recover those for future jobs. So that'll make life a lot easier down the road when it is 120 degrees. So I uh, got all these things. I'll probably get all this stuff off the roof today. So I actually have help today. So I can recover these other fan blades. Yeah. All right. Just want to position them so they don't get damaged. All right. Not good to make that. Okay. Back up on the roof and got my. HKC444. They no longer make this in a spray can. Or, well, I shouldn't say that. The company I usually get these from no longer carries carries it. Maybe able to get it online or something. But this is like my favorite, my favorite lube stuff. Uh, I'm gonna pre-spray those other two units and let it sit for a while. Okay, get the spray lube on. Go to the whole way. about where I had to grab it for the for the top part.
go. Oh, we did it. <laughs> Woo. All right. Wowzers. Okay. So there's that. I cut these and make sure no one uses the motor. Not that they're going to. I'm going to trash it out. Well, you know what? Sometimes it makes a good weight up here. So. A lid that doesn't want to stop bouncing around. So, gotta repurpose. What I have. Yeah, the wiring definitely come in handy. Some future situation. Okay. Alright, now we're gonna take off our old one. This one's tied underneath, which is fine. My units are on the roof, so a lot of them are just the wirings pass through. So it doesn't matter so much on the roof. You know, some people disagree with me on that. I prefer it tied underneath. I'll leave my tie there, and then I can tie it underneath. We bend in some of these heels back. Is that that may have been part of why this one bouncing around a bit while I'm here? Fix that up a little better. All right. Same with this one here. One here. All right. And that one there too. Okay. Couple things. Okay. Okay. Now we gotta undo our bolts. I don't think my screwdriver will reach down over these. It's pretty close, but. Be nice to have a nut driver that would reach that far and never seems to work out. Any of the screwdrivers I've bought so far, so that would be a nice feature. Alright. So I'm gonna do these. Gotta get each of them started here. These I can hit with my lube as well. Let's make that a little easier. set for this and, and a socket set to speed it up.
ice grips works good too. My motor is set up with the plugs removed on the downside. Uh, if yours wasn't, then you'd want to remove the plug. If you had an up motor that was facing up, you'd remove the blue plug and switch it to the to the other side. But mine is already the correct way. We'll be tiring, tiring our wiring up underneath our reversing wires. And ground wire we can set underneath also right here and we can tie those up nice and neat so let's put the ground wire on there I don't know why they don't just do that from the beginning if they don't that's up to you we'll orient our wiring so it's facing up towards the conduit position Fender washers, screws ready. Empty those out. Get our bolts out. All right. Are we ready? There we 
go. I notice mine always come spinning the correct direction anyway. So I'll go ahead and tie up the wheels underneath. So many different jobs that, but if I was doing this all the time, I'd develop that out a little better, have better tools ready for this. I'm sure a lot of AC guys do. I need a really good tool. Yeah. Be cool and suggestions to put what kind of tool you carry for these particular deals. straighten out the pieces of metal in the lid, so that's good. trick when putting these through the conduit because you've got a couple connectors for the capacitor what I do is bend these and that way and then I go one of them in front and one of them just behind so I kind of stagger them like that so that both of those aren't passing through the conduit at exactly the same time but all the wires kind of go in together. Helps, helps pass it on through. In theory, you gotta get that first bend kind of just right. This one's kind of sharp. Okay. So that's how I do them. Just like that. And then bring this one with it right behind it. <clears throat> and then the stiffness of the wire will help push it through. Stubborn one. Oh, point of no return. Can't go forward, can't go back. Oh, 
pass them through on its own. Got to. There we go. And now I'll pass these two together. Worked out good. Okay. So now our ground wire and our other wire can tie up. Let's kind of pull this back. Okay. Here it is. I'm going to tie them under. Conduit right here. And that'll make it so if I did need to pull them up, kind of position them so I would be able to in the future. I needed to. I don't suspect that I'll need to do that. So. Yeah. <laughs> Can't use a cable strap. Let me see. I got a cable strap here. I see one right here. No, I did. No, I did. I did. There we go. Cable tie instead. needed to I can pull them up through the lid. Ready? Okay, or ballast baffle. Make sure that's all nice and tight. It is we're ready. Ready to put on our lid. Alright. See if I have uh, one of those grommets to go to the front here. Um, see if uh, one of the old one has one. Unfortunately, my old one did not did not have one, so just gonna need to pull the conduit through a little bit so that the wiring doesn't rub on the metal. Rest 
and then trick for getting these to set properly. It's just with the little twist of the screwdriver. A little lift and a little twist right here. Bonehead move. I forgot to put the blade back on. <laughs> got, the, got the lid back on, but no blade. <laughs> ah, oh, well. Yeah. Blade. <laughs> no blade. <laughs> That's not going to work. Ay, 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 ay. Kind of critical to the operation anyway these two screw bolts line up with the flat portions of the fan blade and you just don't want to push it on so far that it hits your your uh, screws so you gotta stay high enough that's gonna work good right there so we'll go ahead and tighten the blade on <laughs> oh yeah yeah Uh, you guys probably caught that in the film. I'm laughing all the way while I was putting <laughs> the seal <laughs> on. Alright. So again, it's nice and lined up with the flat portion of the, of the hub. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> 
Band blades. Okay. Is this ready? Yeah, it's ready. <laughs> <laughs> now it'll work much better. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> People a little a little easier too. <laughs> Back <laughs> yeah, this one's missing a few screws, um, and uh, I can recover them from the other uh, lids that we'll be trashing out today. Uh, we got help. We got help. So um, we'll go ahead and. Test our capacitor here, set it on our microfarad settings, and test it. I'm pretty sure this one's good, but. Four point eight nine, so it's good. for that one. Alright, so here's our black wire. Conduit forward just a little bit so the wire is not resting right on the metal. Just a little, just like that. Okay, and we're ready to run. Uh, I tested the large capacitor last time and that was good. So, let's see here. Here we go. All right. Oh, it bounces around quite a bit. But the band blade is spinning the correct direction. We're back to business here. Well, some of this could be these band wheels are kind of. But we've got the old motor. This glove here. <laughs> it's what it is. All right, it's back in the mix. It's a done deal. Feels like cut the wires off or or not. quick search on my YouTube channel of whatever your maintenance needs are, you should find a bunch of different material that will be helpful to your maintenance needs. Surrounds me 
Your presence. 